Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another The Bold and the Beautiful review. And before we get into this, I just want to say happy April and happy April Fool's Day. Anybody gonna play a prank on anybody or gonna get pranked? I haven't done either in forever, so I don't know. That's my heart. Anyways. <laughs> Start my hair. It's just it's it's getting more frizzy. I straightened it last night actually, but um I put it up in a ponytail because the I had the windows open. And the wind was blowing my hair and um get on my nerves. So I put it in a ponytail and then I just got like um like my hair had like creases in it from the ponytail. And now that I have it down. Um, it's getting frizzy from the humidity. It's already here, but, um, <laughs> probably will be wearing it natural starting next month. If you, or new, if you, if you weren't watching last year, last spring, late spring, summer, last year, um, yeah, my hair is naturally curly, so, yeah, it's not gonna look like this soon. <laughs> <laughs> but I have some new um techniques and products I can use so maybe it won't look as bad as it did last summer because whew I was ready to anyways that's not for my hair. <laughs> this week episodes, oh my gosh, this week was so fucking good. I give it soap opera of the week. Of the soap operas I watch. I still don't watch young I haven't watched Young and the Restless in a while, but of the other other three that I watch, other two besides, oh, anyway, Bold and Beautiful, I, I had to say I was most entertained. The Sheila Showdown, crazy shit, oh my gosh. It's like, all the other stuff, it don't matter what else happened, but lordy. <laughs> but Bill did it. He got Sheila to admit that she murdered someone. Yeah, so the guy, um, I think I might, I might have wrote his name down wrong. Dr. J. Corbin. I have a feeling that's not even his name. I just wrote down some random, I probably just wrote down some random name. But, um, so he was, he was a psychiatrist that was treating her and they got into an argument and he fell and died. <laughs> I'm like, so, um, don't be Sheila psychiatrist. Okay. Note to self. <laughs> and then the other guy with the bees, his name was Lance Day. Um, she said that he had threatened her. You know, she didn't go into details what, um, he threatened her with. Um, like, like bodily harm, like, was she do something to him to make him want to threaten her or he was just threatening her because, you know, they, you know, they should have went in depth with that. But Bill, I'm sure Bill did not give that two fucks about it because she murdered him. <laughs> yeah, so he was definitely allergic to bees so she um was able to get the bees in through his window and he got all stung and stuff and she made sure that he couldn't get out of the room, and so that's how she killed him. And um, yeah, he asked, you know, she intentionally killed him, and she said, "Yes, I am a murderer." And Bill says, "What? That's so? Oh, he says that's so hot. Say it again." She goes, "I am a murderer." Oh Lord, I am. Yeah, so you know, Virgin the FBI guy listening in and it's like, yeah, she finally did it. Yeah, we got her. And Bill's like, oh, I'm so happy that you finally confessed and you let me in into your soul. It's just some corny ass shit. And it's like, now you're gonna get the future that you deserve. And then I'm like, I don't want Sheila to be. She's my favorite character. It's like her and Kelly are my favorite characters. But um, 
and then of course Bill had to go and fuck it all up. I'm like, how is she really gonna get out of this? But Bill sucked it up. <laughs> he calls Ridge to gloat about finally getting Sheila to admit to murder. And um it was the FBI guys like, you know, hey, um, you know, just keep Sheila there. We had some guys um show up gun um show up to arrest her and um uh Sheila overhears him saying I finally got her and she questions him as saying you know finally got her what the proposal and of course no Bill has to go in on how this is all a set up he never loved her um he was just trying to get her locked up basically yeah, um, oh, that's not fun. I thought I said Mickey Mouse. This is house. Wow, I can't read my own reading. Where am I? Maybe I need my eyes. Do I need my glasses? Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's just like, you know, what happened, you know, like, um, like Scooby-Doo or something. <laughs> when the bad guy, um, well, those aren't the bad guy. Well, to Sheila, he's the bad guy. You know, they... Um, um, you know, just tell the whole entire plan to person thinking, oh, I got them now, so, you know, they can know about my plan, but, you know, they can get away still, and you fucked it at all. But anyway. <laughs> oh, lordy. So, yeah, I said that, I told them that Ridge was in it, too, and that they have cameras all over the house, and um, told him, you know, hey, smile, wave that witch, and the FBI, and she said she's not going back to prison. <laughs> like she kept saying it again, I'm not going back to prison. But um, yeah, they ended up getting in a fight, and then Sheila goes over the balcony, and I'm like. I, I wasn't expecting that. I was like, it just happened so fast. I didn't have a chance to like really think like, oh no, who was gonna go over? But it was like, I was like, I thought that you know she might do something to Bill, you know, not at you. Um, no, it's true for me. She's murderer, and she doesn't want to go back to prison, so she do whatever. But uh, then again, you know, she knew about the camera, so I don't think she would have intentionally. <laughs> I've got Bill or something. She's like, I'll just add that to her rap sheet or whatever. But yeah, she went over. <laughs> like, <laughs> Ridge is like, what just happened? I'm not just watching her ass went over the balcony. <laughs> yeah, he goes downstairs and she is gone. <laughs> I'm insane. <laughs> I mean, hey, evil does has no pain apparently. <laughs> it's like how she <laughs> Sheila got up and got in a car and just took off, and I'm just like dying. Does it where the hell she go? I'm like, really? You don't have cameras to show you like where where she go and stuff. Another thing I was thinking is if they, if the FBI has been tailing her whenever she leaves Bill's house, why wasn't anybody there to arrest her in time before she was able to get away? <laughs> like, did they not just sit at, they don't sit at the house, they just like somewhere in between Bill's house and, uh, Deacons. It's like, that makes no sense. One. And two, why didn't they put some, you know, speed it up? This is Sheila. She could easily get away. Why weren't y'all, you know, si well, sirens blazing, you know, run over all the people in, that you can to get and to get to Sheila? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, you know, 
<laughs> See Sheila driving on the road. Like, I'm not going back to prison. You know, she's just going over everything that happened with Bill and she's so hurt. She's like, this is why I can never get my heart. And I got this. And she's like, <laughs> oh, lordy. But I'm like, she's going to go see Deacon. I just have a feeling. But, um, yeah, Deacon was visited by Hope. And I used my, I see that I used, I don't know. This might actually be a typo by me. <laughs> I was like, did I use my microphone or did I type this? But it says, Hope Hoes. To see Deacon. <laughs> Hope hoes. Um, yeah, that's supposed to that happen. That the, the the stuff that you words that you make when you don't know how to do type wrong. <laughs> but yeah, they talk about um Douglas moving in. He wonders how that happened and she said, you know, him seeing her and Thomas working together um, probably did it. You know, they see them being a family again and stuff. Yeah, and he said that, you know, if Thomas does anything stupid, you know, the kick his ass to the curb. And she's like, no, I promised Liam that, so I can promise you that too. <laughs> But, um, yeah, then they started talking about Sheila, and she was saying, you know, how she, she hates that she sees Sheila walking around Beverly Hills. Just like, ugh. So, um, yeah, now I think about it. Rich gives her a credit card or something. <laughs> then you, like, buy her a car and a credit card and stuff. Must You're playing somebody, but you're, you have enough money to, like, play them. Must be nice. But Deacon said, that now it makes sense. Because Deacon um, tells Hope that Sheila won't be a problem for much longer. And I'm like, wait, what? what is he talking about? But it makes sense now after watching um, Thursday's episode. Uh, Thursday and Friday's episode. But, um, yeah, Sheila interrupts Colin saying that, um, oh, Sheila texts him um, saying that, it's urgent and they see each other. So, yeah, he tells Hope he's got to go somewhere. And um, he goes to a place and Sheila shows up and um, she tells him everything about Bill, um, how she confessed about killing somebody to um, confess to him about murder and that bridge and FBI know. And he goes like, Why, why would you do that? How could you do that? Or whatever. And um, she's just like, you know, she's like, let her guards down and stuff. But um, she's like, you know, she needs to run away. You know, ask her. You know, she asks him, you know, would you run away with me? And I'm like, yes, go run away. You guys have to stay together. I can't do it without my chicken. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> yeah, but then I know a part of me is like, yes, go Deacon. Then another part of me is like, oh, no, you can't. You worked so hard to, you know, put yourself back together. You got a restaurant. You know, your daughter's happy with you. Your baby mama's happy about you. You know, don't fuck this up. Go, Sheila. It's the love of your life. And you guys belong together for life. <sighs> Sheila Sharp. It just it sounds so beautiful. Um, um, but yeah, he said he doesn't know if he can because you know, hope in the restaurant. Um, she's like, mm, you, it's mine. It's like, you said that you'll never be able to find another woman like me. You, you've never, you never, you know, met a woman like, um, her before. And it's like, and. He's like, yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> Come on, uh, the Sheila is definitely one in a million kind of gal. And <laughs> she's like, she would never be able to find another, you know, man like her. 
Yeah. And he asked her if the FBI was following her. She's like, yeah, that's why. Um, we gotta go now. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, you know, Bill was driving, um, trying to find her. He's like, I'm gonna catch up with her. Talking to Ridge. <laughs> Lordy. And of course, you know, they all know she went to Deacon. Uh, Deacon's place. And so they all show up at the restaurant as they're leaving out. This, I prefer um, oh. Oh, lordy. I don't know. I was just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Did he say that he would go? Did he say he would go or let's go? And, um, they walk out and sure enough, there's Bill leading the charge. Bill and Ridge there. <laughs> Stopping them with, um, Detective, oh lordy, Sanchez, right? That's his name? Lord, I forget. They they only dust them off for a few scenes, but um, <laughs> yeah, he's like he's been wanting to um say that for a long time. Um, she was here under arrest for murder. <laughs> Lordy, and um, Bill of course had to ride out Deacon and said, "Thank you, Shot, for um, they say." Uh oh, where's the Did I not? Oh, he's he, um. Bill's that's what Bill said. He said thank you for stalling um until they can get there, and I'm like, wait, what? He can't do it. And I'm still And she turns to him. He's like, you. Was any of this real? And he said, yes. And she's like, I understand. Yeah. <sighs> oh, she does. But he looked really sad and upset, so I believe him. Now he does care about Sheila, but I was so crying. Oh, no, no, she and it was funny. I started laughing. <laughs> I can't because she got away. All of those dudes standing there, and Sheila still got away. <laughs> She's like a toddler running around in their diaper, and you're trying to put the clothes on so y'all can go. Uh, y'all can go to the store. <laughs> and now I'm laughing. Okay, stop. Stop laughing. But yeah, she goes out the restaurant into the back alley um, where she shot Ben and Steffi. She remembers it, and, um, but Bill shows up, um, he went around the other way, <laughs> he was able to get in front of her, and she just, ha she just, um, first, they were talking about, you know, everything being fake, and, um, she thought that he loved her, and he told her that it was all fake, including the ring. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, that ring was fake. <laughs> Did he get it? Did he get it out of a claw machine? <laughs> he get it out of a claw machine, or you know, got a box of cereal, bubble gum, something. <laughs> Lordy, so she's like, well, fuck this shit. That was good. <laughs> that would been funny. She went on the run, and then she tried to pawn it and be like, oh, is it? Oh, was it a ring pop? Oh my gosh, you should have licked it to see what flavor it was. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna refer to it now on uh, is a rain pop. Come on, y'all know y'all enjoyed that chip when y'all was younger. Man, I had one on each finger. Anyway. <laughs> well he proposed with the apple cream. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I'm still laughing. But anyway, you know, she just falls to the ground. And I'm like, wait, hold on. What just happened? Did she have, like, a heart attack or something? But, you know, they, um, she had a heart attack. And, you know, Bill's just, like, just, like, standing, <laughs> staring at her. And everybody else shows up. And Deacon's the only one that has, like, you know, concern about her. And, um, and Bill's like, no, she's just faking. 
But, you know, they take her to the hospital anyways. And, like, this can't be happening. She will get done. Yeah, they take her to the hospital. And um, they're talking about she had a heart attack. And her doctor was Lee. She turned around and was like, oh, shit, it's Lee. I was like, shit, Carter. Just, you don't have Lee's face be. <laughs> she don't have to say, she doesn't have to say any words. You can just see everything she's thinking just by looking at her face. I love her facial expressions. That's my girl. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, lordy. Lee about to kill Sheila. Don't, don't ruin your career over Sheila, girl. I mean, I'm sure nobody would... Really judge you for killing her, but still. <laughs> but yeah, there was a um. They actually showed the hospital, which I'm really surprised. You know, I said in um, past reviews, if you've been watching, how CBS soaps don't really like focus on their first responders, and I I do remember asking, do they even have a hospital setting on um board? Was, oh, now that I think about it, Finn was, um, Steffi was in the hospital, um, last year after being shot, so it was like, yeah, they do have a hospital, so I guess they bring it up once a year, because it was around this time when, um, Finn and Steffi got, um, shot, it was around this time last year, um, it was funny, but, um, anyway, yeah, Finn and Steffi were talking, um, they were all, like, all over each other in the hospital <laughs> the day before, on Thursday's episode, before Sheila had fell. So, it made me think that, oh, Lord, is somebody about to end up in the hospital? Maybe Sheila. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, one of the nurses went to go get him. It's like, yeah, you know, your mom is cheating the patient that she knows, Sheila Carter. And Finn's like, wait, what, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, Finn and Steffi ran to Sheila's room. And, you know, she, like, flat lines. Yeah. <laughs> Finn's, like, looking at her um, vitals. She's like, she's not looking really good, Mom. You gotta do something. And then she flat lines. And then just, like, standing there. And I'm like, what? Y'all not gonna do nothing? <laughs> yeah, the nurse comes in, ready to... <laughs> she grabs the paddle. She's like, okay, I'm ready for this. <laughs> and they're just standing there. And I'm like, and plus, is it just me or were the um the staring the you know how soaps are? It was like they just stare at each other for a moment while they play dramatic music and then go to commercial or next scene. It's like those scenes were just hella fucking long. <laughs> they're at the hospital and then at um Eric's place too. But I talk about that in a second. But yeah, so they just stood there and then the show ended and I'm like is this how my chic and ends with Sheila dying? No. <laughs> and Bill's fucking ass. Tells Deacon, should have stuck with massaging that pizza dough and not that lunatic. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was laughing too hard. It hurt and it la and it was hella funny at the same time. I love Bill those <laughs> dicks at Deacon, but <clears throat> yeah, they showed how everything came about. So it seemed like um Ridge got in um Ridge. Deacon got wasn't in a, on it from the beginning. So, um, I guess they went to talk to him. I wasn't paying attention to what he was wearing, because <clears throat> I didn't think about it. But I think it was after um, Sheila, they had saw Sheila go to his house once upon a time or whatever. Or they knew. <clears throat> I don't know. But anyways, they went to him because, you know, like, they know that he had a relationship with Sheila. And so to keep him out of prison, um, I guess I knew that um, Sheila had been staying with him um, when she was hiding out after cutting off her toe. So, <clears throat> so they're like, yeah, you can um, 
either go to prison or you can help us catch Sheila. So he decided to help catch Sheila. So I guess um, that's why he was like 100% okay with, you know, pushing her to marry Bill or whatever. But um, yeah, basically trying to push her away because, you know, he loves her. And um, he didn't want her to go to prison, but he wanted her to go in safely. And of course, Sheila and safely don't really go together. But um, yeah, but Bill and Bridge promised Deacon that they wouldn't tell Hope and Brooke or, you know, anybody about um, his relationship with Sheila. So I'm like, that's good at least. The three, um, <laughs> the three fuckers that don't like each other all gonna, um, keep it to themselves. So that's good for Deacon. But I have a feeling that, um, <laughs> Bill will probably, you know, joke about it again. <sighs> oh, lordy. Um, <laughs> down the line. But, um, yeah, everybody, um, met up at Eric's house. Um, except for Stephanie and Finn were at the hospital. But, um, yeah, Rich had, um, texted everybody to, um, go there, which is funny, because, um, they showed the damn intro, like, two times, two or three times this week, and pissed me off, of course, because Quinn is still in the damn opening, that girl's been gone almost a fucking year now, and y'all still haven't taken her out, you just, <sighs> now I think they just do it just to fuck with me, I swear they're doing it just to fuck with me now. Mm, I take it in personally, but anyways, but I thought it was funny because I was I was watching the um watching it and I'm like um you know we're we gonna see Donna again or Eric it's been a minute for them especially Donna I don't think they've showed her this year did they I can't remember if they showed her this year or not but um if it was it was a while ago but anyways um daddy and mommy logan were still in town steven is his name i i, I totally miss her name oh lordy anyways he's still the dad from step by step for me <laughs> but he i love his rich hate <laughs> anyway well i love that he, but the, the rich hate is mostly of him not being here to protect his family which is pathetic because rich is a little weak little bitch one and be, you know, the man don't need to be there to protect his family. Women can protect their family. Just says, fine, look at Sheila. You know, she knows how to handle business. She shot her daughter-in-law so her son could be free of her. Though he almost died, too, because she shot him first. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, they all met. Um, they were there, Brooke, Taylor. Um, can we talk about how Taylor looked? Her hair looked good in that outfit. It was so cute. I'm like, go Taylor. And, um, uh, uh, um, Katie and, um, uh, Carter. I think that, I think that was all. Yeah. There ain't nobody else up there. But I was talking about Rich. Um, wanted them all to meet there. And so, they showed up. Rich took out his man bun. I guess he doesn't want his family to see him like a man, but... <laughs> oh, I gotta think about it. Hope and Liam weren't there. Yeah, Hope and Liam weren't there. Or Wyatt. They needed to be there, too. And, um, yeah. Rich, um, started talking. And, um, Bill came in. And everybody's like, Get the fuck out! Rich and Eric's like, You're not welcome in my house. And everybody's like get all mad at Bill. And I'm like, we all shut the fuck up and let them talk. And it's like, um, yeah, because Brooke and Katie were talking about him earlier this earlier this week about you know not understanding you know cliche um repetitive talk about Brooke. I mean about Bill and Sheila and um Carter. Um, Book had did ask Katie how Carter feels about her, you know, um, so worried about Bill and stuff. And 
I just saw that foreshadowing because I think she's going to want to be all over him when she finds out that, you know, he was just doing all this to bring in Sheila. But of course, you know, that had to end the episode with Ella's hearing um, about it. So, y'all suck. But anyways, that'll make for an interesting Monday episode. Great cliffhangers, definitely, on this week. I'm just like, wow. I still didn't believe it. It's a great little showdown, definitely. Bold has his moments where it's just like, why? But I think they've been doing such an awesome job since um, revealing that Bill has been um, working Sheila this whole time with Reg and the Fed. I think that was just awesome that they came together to do that. I mean, even though it means the end of my sh- <laughs> They could have had a prison romance, but yeah, that would just... But, I mean, Hope could still put it two to two together because, you know, that she still doesn't bring up the redhead, the mysterious redhead that was at his place, one, and two, um... It's a soap opera. It's only a matter of time before shit comes out. Only a few things slip through the cracks or whatever. But, um, I don't know. Still more drama to definitely to go down with, you know, will they save Sheila? Will they not? Yeah, so I think that, that's one of the, that's one of the best cliffhangers in a while, you know. Well, besides, you know, Bill working with the FBI. <laughs> I still, that's just like, wow. I know I just feel so bad for all the shit I was talking about, Bill. <laughs> I, I can't remember what I call him anymore. So it just made him seem like he was just, you know, so um, desperate for cooch. But really, he was just a smart guy just trying to get justice for um old friend. Or after, you know, just... <clears throat> But, I don't know. Well, since all this happened, maybe there's still a chance for Bill and Lee. Um, especially if Lee just wants this little Sheila to die. Um, Bill wouldn't have mind doing that. I think that that's something that they could connect on. I mean, Bill does really care about Finn. So, that could be a definite turn on for Lee. I think he'll make an excellent stepfather but that only that that's just some soap opera shit <laughs> come a stepdad to your ex-lover's husband <laughs> that's some serious soap opera shit <laughs> anyway so i'm look, really looking forward to next week um even though i want to enjoy my weekend because it's been a rough week but, um, let me know. What did you guys think about the Sheila showdown? And what you think is going to happen next week? Leave that in the comments below. And like the video if you liked it. Um, hopefully you did. Because why not? And, <laughs> I don't know. Just annoy me. <laughs> and if you liked it, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed. Because why not? And share the video. Even if it's to make fun of my chic and love. Which I'm sure people, <laughs> I'm sure people definitely do. Um, even if they don't say it in the comments, I'm sure some people watch this like, really? Anyway, <laughs> you can judge me if you want to, but my chicken is for life. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go cry. Um, I think the rain stopped. But it's still hella dark and windy outside. But I will enjoy my weekend. I will take Rocky out because he just woke up. <laughs> and then eat. I'm hungry. But um, I will see you guys next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And again, happy April. We're deep into spring. Let's hold tight and enjoy this cool weather before we get set on fire for the summer. <laughs> I don't, I'm just talking. I'm gonna shut up. Thank you for watching. Love y'all. Bye.